Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel Medical Lectures and Mnemonic. Uh, today I'm going to deliver a lecture on the endometritis. So before endometritis, in the previous video I have talked about and the uh, anatomy of the uh, uterus and I have discussed that there are mainly three layers of the uterus. The first here you can see this black layer and the innermost layer is called the uh, is called endometrium. The second this green layer here you can see which is thick and it is made of smooth muscles and uh, small amount of fibrous tissue this layer is called a myometrium and the other layer which is called a perimetrium which i have not drawn here so the in this video i'm going to talk about an endometritis so endo endomet means endometrium and itis mean inflammation so it is the inflammation of the endometrial layer of the uterus so there are two type of endometritis one is the acute endometritis the other is Chronic, endo, chronic endometritis and uh, the acute endometritis normally when there uh, when uh, when there is abortion and menstruation or uh, childbirth the uh, clean hygienic condition is not followed when it will uh, cause the organism to pass from the cervix and to the endometrium and then it will cause the endometritis so uh, these uh, infection during uh, abortion during menstruation and during follow and following childbirth will cause infection in the endometrium the other is uh, placement of intrauterine device intrauterine uh, device for contraception uh, it will act as a nurse for the infection and it will cause the endometrium to inflame the other uh, cause of the endo acute endometritis is product of conception when mm, the product of conception retained within the uterus it will act as a nadus it will act as a nadus for uh, organism and it will cause the uh, endometrium to inflame so what is the clinical presentation normally it is an infection an addition, and it is an inflammation so it will cause the, a high grade fever in the lower abdominal pain and uh, there will be purulent uh, discharge from the vagina and uh, there will be excessive menstruation and there so uh, now how to confirm the acute endometritis so the acute endometritis can be confirmed by microscope and, and by the uh, by microscope by seeing the presence of neutropel so it will uh, when the neutropel are present on microscopic examination of the endometrial tissue it will confirm the acute endometritis and the chronic endometritis the uh, it is the chronic inflammation of the endometrium so the most common organism that co that cause the chronic endometritis include the chlamydia chlamydia neisseria neisseria gonorrhea and streptococcus galactosi and uh, the mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycoplasma homini uh, these actually cause the uh, chronic endometritis these organism uh, cause the chronic endometritis so now how to confirm the chronic endometritis microscopic examination will reveal the lymphoplasmocytic infiltrate oocyte uh, as well as plasma cell and the mainly the plasma cell will confirm the chronic endometritis and the uh, lymphocyte um, uh, may be present in the normal condition so the plasma cell the presence of plasma cell and microscopic examination will confirm the chronic endometritis so the chronic endometritis granulometer granulomatous endometritis which is caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis and which so there will be granuloma but the granuloma will be small and there will be no caseating necrosis in the granuloma of the endometritis uh, the granuloma will form within two to three weeks because there is normal shedding of the endometrial uh, endometrial tissue so it will delay the formation of the granuloma so what are the signs and symptoms i have discussed that the uh, signs and symptoms will be acute and chronic endometritis are same so there will be fever lower abdominal pain and abnormal vaginal bleeding and abnormal vaginal discharge in bleeding uh, this so was all about the endometritis for more video subscribe like and share so thanks for watching the video